Mrs. Johnston. Today, as a class, we are going to go back and think about George Washington, and we are going to create a timeline using a beginning, next, or middle, and end. And remember that a timeline are events that happen in somebody's life in a chronological order. So, first, I am going to write timeline, because that is what we are going to create. Timeline. Next, I'm actually going to draw a line. This is going to represent the events that happened in George Washington's life. Now, we learned first about George Washington in the story, the legend, about him as a young boy in the cherry field with his father. So, I'm going to make the first mark on my timeline. And what did Mrs. Johnston say our first mark was going to represent? That's right, you remembered, great job. It was young George. So I'm going to write young George on our timeline. And then I'm going to draw a picture also of George as a young boy to represent him during that time. So we have young George. I might also maybe want to use a picture of maybe the cherry tree stump just to represent that we remember that that's where young George was introduced to us as young George. What happened next? What story did we hear about George that taught us about his bravery, his honesty, his cleverness. That's right. So I'm going to make the next notch. And we learned about George Washington as General. General Washington. At this time, George was an adult. So I'm going to draw another picture of George. This time it's going to represent him being a general. He led the army, the Continental Army. I might make a hat on him to represent him in the army. His hair had gotten a little bit longer during this time. So we knew George as young George. We knew George as General Washington. And what was the very last story that we heard? And what did we learn that happened later in his life? What was the last thing that happened? in George's lifespan. That is correct. So I'm going to make the last mark on my timeline. He became president. President Washington. And for this picture, I am just going to draw a picture. Remember, it, the last picture we saw of him, it was just a facial picture of how he looked as president. So, we learned about young George and how he became honest in the legend of the cherry tree.
And that honesty helped him work into becoming General Washington over the Continental Army, who defeated the British. Then, because of his honesty, bravery, cleverness, the people elected him to be President Washington. So here is the timeline of George Washington. I used words to tell the beginning, next, and end. And I used pictures also to represent our drawing. You have heard many details about George Washington. I can't wait to see your drawing of what you think was the most important piece in George Washington's life.